we need more producers so that we can meet up with the demand for fish in Nigeria. The fish here, what we have currently, are all sold out. In fact, I can't even meet up with my order as it stands. If someone wants to go into this thing, what are they looking at? How much would they be making with say You said this is a how much? Yeah, this is a 20,000 20, capacity. capacity. Yeah. Currently, we sell one juvenile for 40 naira. So if you're having 20,000, that is 40 naira times 20,000, you have 800,000 naira. Reach out to more people, right? Outside my nationality. There's more fulfillment in passing on what you know to others. It makes me happy when people say, Oh, the farm lady, I watched your video on YouTube and you know, I was able to correct this and I'm seeing the result. Oh, I attended your training and you know, this has changed. I'm very happy. This is Shikemi Olabishi, a catfish farmer and trainer. And in this video, she'll take us through the basics of catfish farming. Hello everyone, I'm Shikemi Olabishi. Welcome to the family aquatics. Welcoming and first thing I do is to disinfect my hand, right? We do not want our fish falling sick. Okay, I studied agricultural extension and rural development. Mm. I graduated from you know Federal University of Agriculture at Belkuta. I joined an agricultural firm. They were into so many you know aspects of agriculture, you know, the crop section, the animal section. So I joined as a graduate trainee and I was posted to the fishery department. So that was where my journey started. Being a graduate trainee and growing to and hatchery assistant and you know became the fishery manager at some point when i left i thought of okay what can i do okay i have this knowledge and i think this is the right time to start up something you know with the knowledge i have mm -hmm. that was how it all started but what was it like starting this whole thing what was it like well my salary from my previous work was part of what i used to start and then support from family and Basically, that was it. I didn't get any loan, so I started really small. I started with one pond actually, and from there I grew. What is it? What is this business like here in Nigeria? It's massive. You enter a street, and I'm very certain you're going to see like two cartridge farmers mm, on every that street. street. Yeah. Yes, mm. everybody wants to go into agriculture now, so people are looking for ways they can enter into this this um, aspect of business and catfish farming is one thing that people are drawn to so we have a lot of catfish farmers in Nigeria but still at that we are not able to meet up with the demand because fish is food and people eat every day right so if you're out there and you know you love catfish farming this is the time to join the fold right we need more producers we need more people to collaborate right and that is one thing that is um, really lacking in the industry so we need more people to be able to collaborate and do bigger things so that we can meet up with the demand for fish in nigeria the fish here what we have currently are all sold out yes so you have to book ahead in fact i can't even meet up with my order as it stands because i just have to decline and say okay you have to join the next available batch so sales is not a problem currently because i can't meet up with my order you mentioned that your focus is on the babies and on the fingerlings or yes yes why is that why do you focus on the Okay, the reason why I focus on that aspect is because one, I love it so much. Two, it is actually very technical, right? So it's not something that anybody can just wake up one day and say, I want to start hatching. I want to go into the hatchery aspect or the nursery aspect because there are so many things you have to put in place. The water, for instance, the chemical parameters of the waters has to be checked, right? You can't just use any water. And that is why we have a treatment plan. So we do our testing of water virtually every week so as to ensure that our fish are getting the very best. So it is technical and I love, you know, going technical. I don't want to do. <laughs> yes, I love doing what, you know, might seem challenging to others. So that is why I decided to focus on, the, on this aspect because we really do not have a lot of people into the hatching aspect. So the hatchery production involves 
fertilization of the eggs from the female parent stock and you know getting the male sperm cell fertilizing and then you have the baby fries or the baby fish and then you manage them up to the point that we saw earlier right while the growth production is a situation whereby people come to buy this size right this small one this small one and then they raise to the bigger size so all the hassle from hatching they don't have to go through that so they just get the juveniles and then they raise them to the bigger size mm. so you don't grow to sell it no, no. that will require more space and currently i do not have that space one of course i plan to go into that but once i have my own space i can expand to that aspect but for now is the hatchery production if someone wants to go into these things what are they looking at how much would they be making with a you said this is a how much this this is hatchery production yeah like the uh, you said twenty thousand yeah, and this is a twenty thousand capacity, capacity. Yeah. let's say someone has like a hundred thousand capacity mm. you know okay so depending on the price or the sales sales price is dependent on location but currently we sell one juvenile for 40 naira mm -hmm. so if you're having 20,000 that is 40 naira times 20,000 you have 800,000 naira so, so in a month you can sell 200,000 no, uh, 20,000 yes in a month yes oh, no, that's not bad here we have the inlet pipe this is the inlet pipe about one inch and this is where water comes into the pond right and down here we have the outlet pipe to drain out the waste water and once we open it like so the water flows out right so this pipe basically takes out the waste water into the straight drainage you know system and as you can see over the pond we have what we call the cover net now this is a very important part of you know fish farming in general because we have so many predators and our major predators are birds right and if we do not have this in one week we literally won't have any fish here in here we have our parent stock now the parent stock is also called the brood stock right and in here we have the male and the female so these are fish that are mature and you know you can use them to reproduce the smaller fish size so this one is more than to consume mm -hmm. We host physical trainings here on hatching and you know catfish growth production. We're into fish farm setup and you know fish farming equipment. So that is the core of what we do. Once you come in here, our training slash seminar room, which doubles as a recording room for our video courses. Here's your PH scale. As you can see, it we have from one to seven is acidic and 7 to 14, 26 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius. Now this is the required range when it comes to catfish farming. There's more fulfillment in, you know, passing on what you know to others, right? And it makes me happy when people say, oh, the farm lady, I watched your video on YouTube and, you know, I was able to correct this and I'm seeing the result. Oh, I attended your training and, you know, this has changed. I'm very happy. I'm getting results. So the feedback from my trainings is enough reason to continue and, you know, reach out to more people right outside my nationality so yeah i started with the physical training this year january and i had about seven students i was actually surprised they came from different part of nigeria and they came to get trained they got the certificate it was amazing to be honest and then after after that i started the online training and then started recording the videos the training videos as you can see i have my mini studio so i record and then you know advertise my trainings and people like the idea they buy into it the first one i did i had about 30 students 
The second that is one, the online one. Yes, mm -hmm. about 40. The third one, I have about 120 students. Mm -hmm. And the current one I'm running this November, I have over 170 students. So these courses you're doing them for free? or No, it's a paid course. It's 20,000 Naira currently for the whole package, 20,000 Naira currently. But from next year, the price goes up. And you know, he who has ears, let him hear. So if someone in Gambia wants to learn all these things, mm -hmm. like your online course, yes, it's, they can take that and... Yeah, it is the answer. Mm -hmm. It is literally the answer to anything at all. If you're a beginner and you want to start up, yes, it's the perfect training. We adopt two feeding methods. We adopt the spot feeding, that is feeding at the particular spot that they've been trained to feed. And then we also broadcast the pig for those who are so lazy to come to the feeding point mm. so as to alert them to always come to mm. the feeding point. So mm. this is basically how we do it. My advice is to, to learn. That is the foundation. I'm still learning. I pay for trainings. Even though I'm training people, I go for trainings. I add to whatever I know. So the Advice I'll give to anybody starting is to learn, understand how the business works. Don't just go into it because your friend is into it or because they say it is very profitable, right? So make sure you learn, understand the dynamics of the business, how it works. Do you have the patience? Do you have the time? Can you persevere through instances whereby you have high mortality, right? Are you able to, you know, go through that process of patience because it is not something that overnight you become rich right so it's a process you have to be patient enough to be able to get the dividends at the end of the day so be ready to learn that is my advice to anybody who wants to go into it don't just start without learning because you can't take that learning out of it at all so learning is key because when you have the knowledge then the sky is your starting point yeah